Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore the concept of a CPD vendor in SAP S4 HANA. Before we start with the system configuration, I brought you just one sentence to explain what a CPD account is. So CPD means that we create a generic account which can be used for several customers and suppliers with whom we only have a few or even only one interaction. So meaning that if we only have one interaction with a customer or a vendor, we don't need to create a real master data set for this customer or vendor, but we create one generic account once that can be reused for different customers or vendors with whom we only interact a few times or only once. Okay, let's now go into the system configuration first. Therefore, we navigate to transaction code SPRO, sub-reference IMG, and then under financial accounting, accounts receivable and accounts payable, supplier accounts. By the way, I will show you the customer side in a separate video. Go to master data, preparations for creating supplier master data, and then go to create number ranges for vendor account groups. Let's click on this one. Now we click on intervals. And then we create a new interval. Let's call it 04 in my example here. Then we search for a free interval. Let me just copy this one and this one here as well. Change the numbers a bit. We do not mark it as external and then we save. And that's it. Let's write this number down because we need it later. And that's basically it. Let's now go back and back again. Next off, we will create the new account group. So therefore we select here define account groups with screen layout in brackets vendors. We click on new entries. Let's call the account group ZCPD, meaning CPD account group for vendor. And then really important, we click on one time account so that this account group is used for one time vendors. You can see the skip address check is now active as well. This is because later on we will create the vendor as a business partner without specifying address information. Because as I have told you before, a CPD vendor does not store the same values as a normal vendor in this instance. And as we want to reuse this generic business partner for multiple vendors, we will gray out the address section later on. By the way, if you want to find out more about business partners, please make sure to check the playlist that I will link you in the description of this video. Okay, for the field status for the account group itself, we won't do anything because the field status we will set later on in the business partner customizing. Let's save and that's it. Let's write it down and that's basically it. Now let's go back and back again. Next off, we need to assign our newly created number range to the newly created account group. Therefore, we click on this customizing path here, assign number ranges to vendor account groups. Then we search for our group. It's called ZCPD. And here we insert our number range. As we wrote it down, the number range is 04. Let's include here 04. And then we click on save. So now we assign 04 to ZCPD. Next off, we navigate to the business partner customizing. So let's go back and close financial accounting. And then we go to cross application components, SAP business partner, business partner, basic settings, number ranges and groupings. And here we first specify the number range. Let's click on intervals. We will create a new interval. In this instance, 04 is already occupied. So I will select number 05. However, the number range you took before we can reuse here. So the number range was from 300,000 till nearly 400,000. Let's click on save. And that's basically it. We also write this down and then we can go back and back again. Next off, we need to define the business partner grouping and assign the number range to it. The business partner grouping is used to classify the business partner. And as I've told you before, Please make sure to watch my other videos on the introduction to the business partner concept because there I will talk more extensively about this topic. So we click on this path, we click on new entries. Let's call the grouping the same as the account group, so ZCPD. Short name would be CPD business partner, let me just call it BP. Description is CPD business partner and the number range we can look up in our little file over here, it's 05. So let's include 05 and that's it. Now let's click on save and that's basically it. So here we assign 05 to ZCPD. Next off, we go back and then we need to define so-called business partner role types and business partner roles. So we click on business partner roles over here and then we click on define BP roles. Those roles later on will be used 
during the business partner creation. They are the central part of the business partner concept. So if you want to find out more about roles, I again advise you to watch my whole playlist on a business partner. But before we define a new role, let's actually click on BP role categories. We will create a new category. Let's call it ZCPD00. Title would be CPD role category. Let's copy it for the description. We will use the differentiation type zero, which is only relevant if we want to utilize enhancements. And then this should be possible for organizations only in our instance. So we can only create organizations later on because this is what we want in this instance and click on save. Then copy this number over here and then navigate to BP roles. Now we will create an actual business partner role. So let's take this one over here first. This role is used to store the general data of the business partner. Then we click on copy as. Let's provide a new ID set CPD00 again. The title and description we will say CPD vendor. And then we will insert the role category that we just created before. It is also called ZCPD00. Then we select standard assignment business partner role, business partner role category. And over here, the business partner view that will actually decide about all the tabs being displayed in the role ZCPD00, we will leave as is. Then we click on apply. This one we can save already. And then we will do the same for the vendor role. Let's navigate out of this view for once. And then we go back to the business partner role categories. And this time we will create the business partner role category for the vendor role. So click on new entries again. We will say ZCPD, let's call it VR for vendor. Title is CPD vendor, copy this one. Differentiation type zero again, also for organizations and save. So it's the same procedure as you can see. Then we go to the business partner roles and this time we search for the role called FLVN00. Here we can see it. This is the financial data for the supplier. So we will copy this one as well. Let's call it again ZCPDKR. This is FICPD supplier view. We can copy this one and the BP role category would be the one we created. So ZCPD VR, this one over here. And most important over here is again that the BP view is set to FLVN00. This will decide again about the tabs that we can see when we select the role ZCPDKR. Let's click on apply and save again. Now, last but not least, we also need the supplier view from the perspective of materials management. So therefore we navigate to BP role categories again, click on new entries. Let's call it ZCPDMM. And here we call it CPD vendor MM. Copy this one, again, differentiation type zero, and for organizations, let's click on save. Then we navigate to DBP roles, and this time we search for the role FLVN01, which is used for the purchasing view of our vendor. Let's click on copy. We will call it ZCPDMM. Again, we will say CPD vendor MM. Here we assign our new BP role category that we just created. It's also called ZCPD MM. And over here, it's important that the view is set to FLVN01. Let's apply and save. And with that, we created three new role categories and also three new business partner roles. ZCPD00 for the general data, ZCPD VR for the finance data of the vendor, and ZCPD MM for the purchasing data of the vendor. So far, so good. Let's go back in the customizing and we close the business partner and navigate to master data synchronization, business partner CVI, customer vendor integration, business partner settings, settings for vendor integration, set business partner role category for the direction of business partner to vendor. Let's click on this one. This is actually one of the activities for the synchronization of the new S4 HANA business partner tables and the old SAP tables, namely the tables where the customer and vendor master records were stored before SAP S4 HANA, because still those tables are used in the system. So here we need to provide new entries for the role categories that we defined before. So in this instance, all of our role categories were called ZCP. You can already see them here. We have to do it three times. ZCPD00, select vendor based and then save. Let's go back, new entries, ZCPD VR was the next one and save. And last but not least, ZCPD MM and save. 
So with that we assigned our role categories in the customizing for the synchronization of the tables between the business partner and the vendor. Next off, we navigate back and back again. And then we go here to field assignment for vendor integration, assignment keys, define number, assignment for direction, business partner to vendor. So this customizing activity here is used to specify the relationship between the account group that we created in the beginning and the business partner grouping that we created right after. So here you can see it as well. In the beginning, we defined the vendor account group ZCPD, and now we need to assign this vendor account group to the business partner account group, which is also called ZCPD. Let's do it over here, ZCPD and ZCPD. And as they have the same number range, we can say same number so that each and every time when the business partner is created, the vendor will receive the same number. Let's click on save. You can see there is one error. I provoked this error because I wanted to show you the solution if you have the same. So as you know, the number range we set for the business partner and for the vendor are the same. However, to mark it here as same number that should be assigned, we need to mark the number range for the account group so for the vendor account group as external. Let's quickly do this via slash O, S, P, R, O, sub reference IMG, financial accounting, accounts receivable and accounts payable, supplier accounts, master data, preparation for creating supplier master data. And as you have seen in the beginning of the session, we click on create number ranges for vendor accounts, click on intervals. And here we set the interval 04 to external because this is also the one we used. You can read it over here. Let's save. Now back in our other customizing, let's try to actually save again. And this went fine. So now all what is left is to create a so-called business partner role grouping. I will show you now. Let's go back and back again. We go out of the master data synchronization and back into the sub business partner and under business partner, basic settings, you will find the node called business partner roles. And here we click on define BP role groupings. So this step here is used to group together all the roles that we created before in one single role for better handling. So we click on new entries. Let's call it ZCPD again. Title would be CPD BP grouping, description the same. And then we double click on BP role groupings, BP roles. And over here we assign our three created roles to the grouping. So ZCPD00, ZCPDVR, and ZCPDMM. And then we click on save. Small mistake, I meant KR and not VR in this instance. So by that we created the BP role grouping, we called it ZCPD, and we assigned the three business partner roles, ZCPD00, ZCPDKR, and ZCPDMM. Let me actually correct it over here as well to KR. Now, the last step before we can actually test the process will be to create a new Z transaction via transaction code slash NSE93. We insert transaction code BUG1, which is a transaction code used for creating business partners. Not the central one though. I will make a separate video about to different transaction codes as well. However, we will need this one to copy from. So then we click on copy and from transaction code is already inserted. For the two transaction code, we will say ZCPD vendor like that. Click on copy and then save. Now we just need to write this down. So create a new transaction code via SD39 by copying transaction code BUG1. Let's go back into the customizing slash NSPRO Sub-reference IMG, cross-application components, SAP business partner, business partner, basic settings, business partner roles, and then click on define application transactions. Over here we will click on new, and this is the actual transaction we will then use for our business partner maintenance. So for the business partner maintained as a CPD vendor. Let's actually also call it ZCPD vendor. So we will select the transaction code we just created. ZCPD vendor. And then over here, we will say activity 01 for creation of business partners. And we assign the role grouping we just created. It was called ZCPD and then save. Let's write this down. So we assigned our transaction code ZCPD vendor to the business partner application transaction. Last but not least, we need to specify the mandatory fields. So let's go back, back again, and then we navigate here to field groupings, field groupings per BP role, configure field attributes, 
Now, first of all, we need to click on new entries and provide our vendor role. So ZCPDKR, click on enter, select the one and click on field grouping. And then now it gets really important for the address data. So the data set BOA010, we will set all the address information to display only. So set all of them to display only. This is because we want to reuse our CPD vendor. So meaning that we won't store any address information in the CPD vendor itself, but we will insert later on the information directly into our purchase orders. So simply set all of them to display only. I will fast forward a bit, then click on save. So we will write it down. So we set the field status for the new vendor role for the address information to display only. And that's basically it. Now we have done all the customizing and we can check our business partner. Therefore, we navigate to our new transaction code slash N Z C P D vendor. We choose organization. And here we can now see that we could insert a name if you want to. So CPD vendor, but we can't insert any address information as you can see. Let's actually fill the mandatory fields. Let's check the general data. This is fine. We go to company code, then provide here also the mandatory fields, payment terms, just some mandatory fields. Then we go to purchasing, create a purchase organization, transfer. And also here we provide some important information. We can click on save. We can see a new number was generated and we can now use this number. Let me go back to the general data. Quite importantly, also here under the vendor general data, we can see the vendor number. This is the actual number that will be used now for purchasing processes. And as you know, we set the number the same as the business partner, but it could deviate depending on what number ranges you set in the system. So we can select here the number and copy it. And then we go to transaction code slash N ME 21 N to create a new purchase order for this particular vendor for the purchase organization, a purchasing group. And then quite important here, we can now specify the address information if needed. So this way we can reuse this CPD vendor. We just created for multiple vendors with whom we only interact once or a few times. I hope you liked this video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.